Hey, this is the video for homeostasis three. So go ahead and check out the essential vocabulary and set up your guided notes. So when we're talking about uh, homeostasis, we really have to talk about homeostasis in a plant. And we have two structures on the surface of a leaf that help with homeostasis. They are the stomata and the guard cell. And this is a diagram of each. The stomata are pores on the surface of a leaf where gas exchange occurs. This is basically a hole. So when the stomata are open, when the, when the guard cells are open, the stomata uh, is, a, is an open hole and it will allow gas exchange to occur. Now the guard cells are structures that control the gas exchange by opening and closing the stomata on a leaf's surface. So when there is a lot of water, the guard cells will open. When there's not a lot of water, the guard cells will close. Now from the side, it looks like this. We have the guard cell and the stomata is in between them. So there's two guard cells and then we have the stomata. Now we also have water inside the leaf and the water needs to evaporate. So these are little water molecules and they will leave the leaf or evaporate the leaf through the leaf uh, through a process called transpiration. And transpiration, simply put, is a process in which water evaporates from the surface of a leaf. And this has two purposes, to remove excess water and to also cool the leaf. So it gets rid of excess water um, because when there is a lot of water in the plant, these guard cells will plump up, much like a balloon. So when the guard cells are, are full, they open up. And when they, are, when they don't have a lot of water, they will close up. So they will also try to uh, minimize the amount of water loss. Now, the guard cells in the stomata also allow for gas exchange. And gas exchange is when we have oxygen moving out and carbon dioxide moving in. So this gas exchange is a process in which carbon dioxide and oxygen move in and out of the stomata on the leaf of a plant. What I would like you to do is show me what you have learned and complete practice problem set three. I hope that this video was informative. I thank you for your attention. I'll see you soon.